Welcome to this overview of the machine learning process, a structured approach to solving real-world problems using data-driven models. First, we start with problem definition. This is the foundation of any machine learning project. It involves clearly understanding and stating the problem you are trying to solve. For example, we might want to classify the denomination of a coin based on its image. Without a well-defined problem, the entire pipeline becomes unfocused. Next is data collection and preparation. This phase is often the most time-consuming step. We gather relevant data, such as thousands of coin images, and clean it by removing inconsistencies, errors, and missing values. When data comes from multiple sources or formats, merging and standardizing it can be challenging. Additionally, in supervised learning, we require labeled data, which often necessitates the involvement of domain experts to provide accurate classifications. Then comes feature selection. We choose the most informative features or attributes that contribute to solving the problem. In the case of coin recognition, useful features might include diameter, weight, and edge pattern. It's essential to ensure that features are not only useful, but also easy to measure, inexpensive to collect, and robust against noise or data variations. Next, we select the appropriate algorithm. Depending on the nature of the data and the problem, classification, regression, or clustering, we select a suitable algorithm such as decision trees, support vector machines, or neural networks. Understanding the strengths and limitations of each algorithm helps in making the right choice. Next is parameter and model selection. Every algorithm has its settings called hyperparameters, which influence its learning process. We tune these parameters, for instance, the number of layers in a neural network through experimentation or automated techniques to find the best configuration. Then we may compare multiple models to choose the one that performs best. Now it's time for training. Here, the model learns from the data by finding patterns and relationships. Using computational resources, it adjusts internal parameters to minimize prediction error on the training set. Finally, we arrive at evaluation. Before we can deploy the model, we need to ensure it performs well on new unseen data. This method involves using a HES dataset and evaluating performance using suitable metrics, such as accuracy, precision, recall, or F1 score. In some cases, we even compare the model's predictions with those of human experts. Let's have a quick overview. Machine learning begins with defining a clear problem, such as identifying whether an email is spam or not. Next, we gather and clean the data, removing special characters and transforming text into meaningful numbers. After exploring the data to identify patterns, we select a model, such as a naive Bayes classifier, and train it. Once trained, the model is evaluated using unseen data. If it's accurate enough, we fine-tune it and then deploy it in real-world applications, such as your email inbox. Finally, we monitor its performance to ensure it adapts to new kinds of spam over time. Thanks for watching. We will connect with another video on machine learning. And don't forget to subscribe.